Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. Chris Katsop was with us. Uh, the, again, the uh, the podcast is The Instigators. Yep. Uh, now, did you saw, did our producer just show you his uh, doctor got hit in the face yeah, with a I, puck? Yeah, you know, kind of interesting there. I mean, uh, well, when you go to a hockey game, you got to keep an eye on that puck, <laughs> though, wouldn't you? You know, I mean, it's so funny that you say that because the great Don Cherry was on once. And uh, a woman had gotten hit in the in the face. And before any compassion was said, he went, he goes, uh, here's the thing. You go to a game, you get these broads, go in the games, you got to, <laughs> they, they start yapping away, yapping away. What happens? They get hit with a puck. You got to keep your eye on the puck. I mean, look, I understand what he's saying. There might be a couple times you go, oh, is that a, that's a nice dress you're wearing? I don't know. I mean, but I, I, I'm surprised that more players in baseball don't kill people in the stands with foul balls. And in hockey, it doesn't happen all the time, too. I mean, what's the worst where you were playing? You know, you played a bunch of things from minor league and everything. Did you ever see a fan really get beat bad I, or killed even? Well, uh, you know, obviously, uh, <laughs> there's been some players going into the crowd in hockey in my day. I mean, with a puck, years. though. Oh, a puck. I saw that in junior. Uh, yeah. A couple of ladies behind the net. Somebody shot in from center ice back when I was playing junior. And it... Uh, Hit one lady on the forehead perfectly on an angle and nailed the other one, and they both heads came together and they both uh, were out. You're kidding me. <laughs> Nowhere to lie. <laughs> Tier two hockey. And wait a minute. So you also played on teams where they would go, your t would your teammates go into the stands and start yeah, beating people? It's on? happened a few times back in junior in the minor <laughs> leagues. So, well, you know, sometimes fans get a little unruly and they, they're pretty mouthy and so all this all stuff there, but, you know, it's, it's okay when there's a little bit of a line there, but. Yeah. When that line gets crossed, all of a sudden the fans aren't so mouthy anymore. Here's your thing. You don't get mouthy. You don't get mouthy, all right? You, you, you don't play like a pansy. You get out there. You get out, you get out there. Well, if you remember Ooh. Ty Domi a couple of years ago in Philadelphia, the fan was squirting yeah, the yeah, stuff, yeah. and he was squirting the bottle back, and he leaned over. The glass broke. Got in the box with him, and Ty just pounded the crap out of that him. That guy deserved Again, I've said this before. The funniest thing I've ever seen in my life, it happened a couple of years ago, uh, uh, I was at a, a Jersey Devils game, and a guy, I think they were playing the Bruins, a guy gets checked up against the board, uh, up against the glass, and he's got his face like this. Uh, John, I don't know if I ever told you the story. I definitely told Dan the story. The guy's face on the Bruins is checked up against the glass like this and smushed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kid, uh, a kid, uh, uh, a guy about 20 years old, I guess he had a Sharpie because he was, needed autographs after the game, takes out a Sharpie, draws a penis going towards the guy's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> draws, like, like, so the guy, the guy's mouth is like, where's my guy? I got a sharpie. About the, the, just, just the presence of mind. I got, I got a sharpie. Takes it out and slowly, and the guy on the Bruins slowly watches the penis getting drunk. <laughs> into his face, and he starts going. Ah! I've never uh, seen anything funnier in my life. Wow. And that, that's a hockey. Only fight. in Jersey, right? Well, only in hockey. <laughs> Uh, you have any thoughts on this? Uh, in 2002, a girl died behind the net. Yes. Getting well, hit thanks for lining it up. Yeah, that's why they put nets behind the goal now. Yeah, I think it was in Anaheim. Yeah, no, yeah. it was in uh, Nationwide Arena in Columbus. San Jose, now, do you blame her Columbus? for not? You blame her for not paying attention. <laughs> First pretty tough, pretty fan tough fall fatality. Down. <laughs> it was the first fan fatality in yeah, that their 85-year uh, okay. history. Well, so listen, that's a good track record. Not everyone record. gets killed. That's a good track record. Um, that's very I, nice for you to point out, too, John. I think it's – I we were talking about this. When you played, guys were a lot smaller than you. I mean, you walked in here and you were – uh, as, big as, yeah, 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 as yeah. big as the door, as big as the door, as Liberace would say. <laughs> it's just, this is my retirement weight. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh but, but I mean, I mean, you're I mean, one of those guys that when I shake your hand, I I can't even fit my hand around it. You're a big guy. <laughs> you're a guy who, if you lived in America, probably would have played football. Probably. Yeah. Um, no, no, John, I was a goner for my first time. <laughs> <laughs> he was a New York Ranger. <laughs> yeah. Nearly the size of a door. Uh huh. I, I love to give people a good time. <laughs> Did you hear about this? That Li Liberace, uh, and Li Liberace, in his uh, uh, in one of uh, many movies about him, uh, claimed to one of his ex-lovers, and the ex-lover writes about that in his book that uh, Liberace lost his uh, gay virginity to a guy in the 1939 Packers. They didn't gather, they didn't give the guy's name, but he the was World Champion Packers. Yeah, we're Green Bay Packers. I guess the Packer parts, right? There. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> I mean, we, we thought Chicago Bears would have been a funny one, but they went right for the real jugular joke. I actually I watched that show. It was pretty interesting. Did you yeah. like it? Yeah, it was, it was interesting. Now, yeah. did you, were you upset? Were you less of a Packer fan after hearing <laughs> that? I hate the Packers. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm not a big Green good. Bay Packers. Do you fan. follow American football? Yes, I do. You like I'm it? Very passionate about the uh, NFL. Okay, all right. Uh, I buy awesome. the ticket every week, uh, every year, and I sit by my TV and I live and die with my team. What team? I'm a 49er fan. Oh, are you? Okay. Well, what about Marble. this guy here? Oh, I remember. I remember. Hey, Marie, I like remember the John too. Yeah. 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 We were talking about that, man. I, I appreciate that because I I don't know enough about hockey. That's the thing. It does it it didn't work that uh, I was focused on both sports. And you're Wisconsin. I mean, that's got to be hockey's got to be huge in Wisconsin. The Badgers. No. Where are you from, Pennsylvania? Yeah, yeah. But you went to where'd you go to college? I went to Michigan for a little bit. But uh, you went to uh, no, you're right. You went to Michigan. That's yeah. huge hockey. Hockey's huge there. Hockey, Michigan hockey is yeah. big time. Yeah, and uh, you know those guys were crazy. The guys playing were insane. I mean, there was a difference between the football guys and right. the hockey guys. The hockey guys were much more out there. You were afraid of them. Well, no, but uh, most people probably would have been. They were, I mean, they so, were I mean nuts. football guys were afraid of the hockey football guys. Football guys looked at hockey guys like they were like crazy. Like we're nuts. Yeah, like I, I, the I hockey tell, guys are nuts. I was telling John about uh, playing in the Joe Namath tournament, uh, celebrity tournament, the last few years, and I hook up with a lot of uh, Hall of Famers like Teddy Hendricks and, you know, George yeah, Atkinson. Yeah, Teddy yeah, Hendricks is a legendary crazy guy. They look at us like crazy, crazy guys. hockey players. Hendricks we and do. Atkinson thought you were crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. which is yeah. scary, <laughs> right? Chris Coleman. <laughs> Yeah. They yeah, look yeah. at us a little like, mm. No, for real. It, it it takes, well, hockey is a game of so much more skill than football. I mean, you have you have the stick skill. You have skating. I mean, football is a lot more just you go out there and, and bash people. You guys have talent as well as just being nuts. And you can fight. It's yeah, allowed. It's free. You're allowed. That's, so, that's the other good point. That yeah, I, have, I, I, I got to give hockey guys props. When you guys fight, you look like you can fight. You look like men fighting. When other sports fight, even oh. football, it looks girly. Yeah. Like when two baseball guys start fighting two pitchers, like all of a sudden they become the Brady Bunch. Yeah, you're right. They kind of look like elastic men with their hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but <laughs> hockey guys are, you know, I mean, you're really well, unbelievable. Well, you're going at it. I well, mean, you're ripping helmets off. We just keep and... throwing it, and then we worry about our, our hands afterwards. Yeah, you know, exactly. That's the way it works. Well,